Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to my first video for MT Playoffs, man. Check it out. I'm going through my lineup right now with you guys, man. I got a lot of sixes on my team, and I don't want you guys to laugh just yet. I, what I want you to do is make sure you throw that thumb. Make sure you like the video. And secondly, I want you to go inside the description and check out Bud's video. It was his announcement for this tournament. If you want to know the players involved, the teams that these players have selected, all the YouTubers involved in this tournament, make sure you go watch that video. But for this video, I'm about to tell you all about the, my 76ers selection, man. This is the funny thing. I got a little story to tell y'all. Before the tournament was like even like decided for me to be in it, Niggas already knew I was coming with the Sixers. Like nobody had. Let me get. Let me get parts. Yo, yo, cuz like I like the Sixers. Let me just you know please. Nah, bro. I came in the Skype chat. I said, hey, yo, listen. I got the Sixers. All everybody else do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying get who y'all get. I got the Sixers. I'm dead serious. Like dead serious. But nah, man. Checking out the lineup. Um, you guys see that I have Drew Holiday in at the starting point guard position. I know a lot of people will probably have a problem with this saying, hey, why don't you just run AI at the shooting guard? I kind of need AI at the shooting guard because if I don't have AI at the shooting guard position, I don't know who, who else I would replace this man with. I really don't have anybody. So I got AI, of course, Amethyst at the shooting guard position. I got Julius Irving at the small forward. I got my boy Moses Malone, the MVP Moses Malone, at the power forward. And, of course, I got my boy Dikembe Mutombo. Now, the crazy thing about this starting five is you guys will see almost everybody is maxed out in gold badges. The only two that I'm really working on that's left is AI and Drew. As you can see, my small forward Julius Irving is already maxed out. Moses Malone, I'm working on two of his badges. They'll probably be done later, probably later than that. I gotta go a little bit more badge hunting. And the Kembe, he has one more slot left open, I think, to um, unlock. And I'm probably gonna add in like, uh, I, don't, I ain't gonna tell y'all the badge, but you know, I'm gonna just let you know it's gonna go gold. You know what I'm saying? Not platinum, but gold, like, like these rap albums. Oh, my bad. But uh, let's go back in and go to the bench. Now the bench is where everything falls apart, all right? So we got Mo Cheeks and at the point guard position coming off the bench to relieve Drew Holiday. Then we have Jerry Stackhouse coming in to relieve AI. Now I know a lot of people are probably gonna have a problem with this. Like, yo, why don't you just run uh what's his name? Uh Aaron McKee, why don't you try to run like uh who else? Uh Hollis Thompson. Like, nah, man, we're gonna run with Jerry Stackhouse. I'm not sure if there's any other Jerry Stackhouse cards out there, but this silver was good enough for me. He has no badges and i'm not gonna put badges on it because i'm not gonna waste my time with this silver you understand me now i know a lot of people are probably gonna say dog are you serious you got robert covington in as your backup small forward fam let me tell you something about robinson covington dog. listen he has an 80 standing shot three fam 80 if you were remotely even in the same like tri-state area as the Sixers, you would know that this guy balls the fuck out for my Sixers. We may lose these games. I'm not saying we ain't losers, but he balls the fuck out for my Sixers. You hear me? Balls the fuck out. Now, my backup power forward is McGinnis. Now, the reason why I have McGinnis in that backup instead of starting and having Moses move over to the uh, center position because I kind of needed that twin tower kind of effect of a good offensive player with a great defensive player in my starting lineup. Plus, McGinnis, I would have to say that like he's one of those players that bang real crazy in the paint. So I needed like a little flip of vice versa. And that what brings me to Jalil Okafor. The reason why I have McGinnis and Okafor is because it's offense and defense. Just the same way I had, I had Moses and Dikembe, offense and defense. You understand me? Now, this is the crazy part. I'm, I'm gonna just show you guys these last three cards. Now, World Be Free. The reason he is on my team is of course, the standing shot three of 78, but not only that, is that he's a tricky little mother. Listen, let me tell you something about him. His speed is unreal. Like, unreal. It, 
you might think he's slow because like his whole get up like his sneakers his long socks all that like the way he looks as a player on the court everybody wants to sag off oh it's world be free or who is this dude oh he's a goal but he probably ass that's where i get people where world be free now i have mcconnell this, this is the reason why i have tj in the game look at his standing shot three and look at his uh standing shot mid I basically am cashing out my middies and my corner threes with this guy right here. When he comes in the game, he doesn't run the point guard position. He just comes in to relieve uh, somebody that's real tired. Or I might bring him in for like quick buckets because once he comes off the bench, he, he's not tired. He can shoot these shots and his release is very easy to, to remember. Now, last but not least, Hollis Thompson. The reason why I have him on my squad and not the regular card is because of this moving shot three and this standing shot three. If all else fails, if I'm like 10 for 40 from three, if I bring him in, I might go four for four. You understand me? But uh, that right there is my lineup, man. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be running with in MT playoffs. Uh, I'm currently going over a card right now. I'm actually show you guys that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my collection. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. All right, so we have Hershey Hawkins here, right? Now, I'm not going to search for him on the uh, on a block. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you that I already purchased him. Um, okay, no auction outcomes. Where is he at? A few moments later. I finally found a card. It was over on the Thunder franchise one, but it's the same exact card. I don't know what 2K is doing here, but this is the same exact card I'm supposed to have for the Sixers. Now, what I'm about to show you is... Let me go ahead and flip this hoe. Let me go ahead and go to attributes. Now, the first thing you will notice, which is crazy with this dude, his moving shot three and his standing shot three. It is disrespectful. And I need this car on my team. Right now, I just asked Bud if I could add this sniper to my team. And if I do, I'm going to need all y'all to watch out. You hear me? All y'all. I don't care if you got the Thunder team or not. All y'all. All right, now uh, this is your boy IKC signing out, man. I just showed you guys my lineup for MT Madness. I just got done my first game versus somebody, and uh, <laughs> you know, I did my thing. But make sure you like, subscribe, share, man. I'm gonna holla at you on the next one. Peace. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the blues clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail.